Hello. Hello, 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 everyone. I'm Teacher Oakley. Hi, welcome to Verbling. Well, we have an interesting discussion topic for this class. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we're going to talk about ET, extraterrestrial life, and unidentified flying objects. Woohoo! Okay, uh, lots to talk about here. We can talk about uh, your own personal experience. Have you ever seen an unidentified flying object? Have you ever been abducted by aliens? <laughs> well, maybe some of you have. I don't know. Um, do you think there are ET? And what is your opinion and why? And also, um, we may get into a discussion of what is the value of space exploration and spending money on uh, space exploration and, and things like that. What do you think? Uh, hello, Ida. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, Very good. Yes. Yeah. I'm really, I am getting sick and tired of, because of my microphone. It's, I don't know what happens. Yeah, it's always nice to hear you. Actually, yeah, hear yeah. you. Yes, sometimes yeah. I, I see you and I don't hear you. So, uh, Ida, let's jump right into the conversation. Um, what do you, have you ever seen? An unidentified flying object? Have, if I have ever seen an? An unidentified flying ob object. No, unfortunately, no, teacher. Un I... Unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, that's something to discuss right there. Why do you say unfortunately? Well, because I, I think it will be interesting if I see a... If we can see something true that it is not known flying over the sky, but I, but from my point of view, I don't, I don't believe in that. Oh, you don't believe exist. that. Yeah, but I would like to see it. <laughs> you don't believe in it, but you would like to see. Exactly. <laughs> okay, that's interesting perspective. All right. Uh, Igor, how are you? Hi, I'm doing very well. How about you? Uh, I'm good, thank you very much. So, uh, so Igor, what do you think? Have you ever seen a UFO? No, I have never seen a UFO. Darn UFO. <laughs> I, I hope some one of the students who joins today. Uh, I think no one uh, seen a UFO. Because uh, what uh, I have seen on TV, uh, all uh, these uh, cases uh, was were uh, proved that they are not UFO, but something natural uh, uh, mm -hmm. about nature. Yeah, nature, natural what na phenomenon? Not natural phenomenon. Natural phenomena. Yeah. Yeah, natural no, or or something uh, related to military. Testing military um, rackets yeah. or s s planes, new planes, something like all uh, news what I have seen on TV about UFO. Yeah, I, I myself, I'm I'm older than I look, or I, again, I hope so. But I myself have seen lights in the sky that rose and then zipped away suddenly, only to find out years later that they were probably Harrier aircraft, which, when I was young, I was quite young at the time, all right, not that old, but I was... What do they do, Harrier? Yeah, you know, Harriers, they're the kind of jets that can rise straight up, like, they, oh, okay. they, they can go straight up in the air, and then, okay. from just standing still, take off, 
And I saw uh, that. Military, military. Yeah. Uh, this is a, a new, uh, how to say, very new jets, but they they all jets, but they consume uh, much combustible, com, com, much yeah. Uh, gas. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, they sure do. But at Because the time, of uh, this, uh, they uh, go straight uh, up. Yeah, that's right. And at the time I saw them, which is years ago, I think we're talking about the late 70s or something, the time I saw lights doing that, and I know I saw the lights, and I couldn't really hear anything, and I know that it, my knowledge at the time, <laughs> at the time, <laughs> was, was that aircraft could not do that, you know. So I thought I had seen a UFO at the time, but then just a few years later, of course, information was declassified, and they, they showed how they had been working on these... Uh, Harrier aircraft, and as it turns out, there's an air fa air force base near where I was. So it, it, it's quite logical. That's pr you know, I'm sure that's what I saw. But at mm. the time, I was pretty excited. <laughs> Pick me, take me. Well, let, let's uh, <laughs> we'll talk about that in a minute. Let, let me talk to Alberto for a second. Alberto, hello. Yeah, hello, teacher. Hello. How are you going? Uh, I'm going okay. <laughs> how's uh, it? It how's it going? Would probably be better, but yeah. it's it's going great. Thanks. Okay. Uh, how about you? Have you ever had a close encounter of the third kind? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about Wait. the first or second? Have you ever seen a UFO or anything strange in the sky you couldn't explain? No. When I was younger, I I thought I I saw I I was seeing uh, every day strange things in in the sky, but now I'm not a so believer than than then. Oh, when you were younger, you saw. Yeah, well, we we all uh, when we are uh, when we were younger, uh, we we were saying uh, all the the things, <laughs> the sky and the earth and <laughs> everywhere. Okay, maybe that's it's true. Easier. Do you think that's true? Actually, that's a, that's an interesting point. Do you think it's easier? For younger people, or or do you think younger people are more prone to believe in things like UFOs or perhaps ghosts or anything like that? Do you think we we as yeah. we get as we get older, we become more cynical and yeah. we don't believe it? It could be that. Uh, <laughs> I I think young people uh, has uh, passions and uh, it uh, help them to to believe in uh, things that uh, are not uh, credible. You no, know, not credible for us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> credible for them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All I right. Grow, grow up and and it's uh, it's right. Okay. Let's. Uh, Let's talk a little hypothetical. Uh, well, maybe we'll get to practice uh, conditionals in English. If this were true, then I would. Okay, for example, the second conditional, where we're talking about improbable situations. There's three kinds of conditionals in English. Uh, the first, where it's something is completely probable. If it rains, I will go to the mall. All right, well, it rains all the time, so that's completely a probable situation. Secondly, very improbable situations. If there, if I met aliens, I would... Da, da, da. <laughs> I would okay. go with them. Ah, see, that's where I'm going. All right, using the, <laughs> using the second conditional, Ida, what if you actually met aliens? Let's say... Stopped in a field where you were. Would mm. you go with him? Would you run like as fast as you could? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Well, well, what would you do? Mm. I don't know. If, 
it is, I don't know. Maybe it depends on the appearance of the aliens. I, if they seem to be good people. <laughs> or good people? Good <laughs> aliens. Oh, so <laughs> it would, it would depend. <laughs> if they looked like aliens from the movie Alien or Predator... Mm -hmm. Yes, because you, you we have create fun. we have what it, what what, uh, what is funny for me is that most of the people we have create a like a typical image a stereotype of what an alien is mm. with the big ears and that kind of maybe an alien is completely different why it's why it well, should be like that. Well, that but is interesting. Have, uh, Many are images of the alien, an alien. You mean like the gray people would like. Big heads and yes. big round eyes. Exactly. <laughs> I'm very skinny. <laughs> I'm very skinny. Yes. I, I think they're kind of cute. You don't think they're cute? Okay. Right. I don't think so. <laughs> you don't think so? No. You would never date one, for example. <laughs> um, no. That kind of no. alien, no. maybe other alien. <laughs> uh, okay, not that kind of alien. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. But, uh, yeah, that's an interesting topic, and I, I want to go back to that. Why are so many all over the world people see aliens, they look the same? Well, I mean, there's possibly many reasons for that. But uh, first, let's try a con using a conditional statement. Igor, yes, I know you that you do not believe in alien life forms. So No, why? why? I, uh, <laughs> I believe. Oh, okay. But I okay. believe in what way? Uh, that's fifty-fifty, or they exist, or they not exist. <laughs> in what way? I do not see any aliens, but I presume maybe they exist, but oh, I okay. uh, haven't seen anyone. So it's fifty-fifty, or either they exist or they doesn't exist. Uh, okay, that's hedging so your bet. I, I I do not believe, for example, but. Maybe they exist. Uh, my belief doesn't change the situation. I can believe, I can not believe, but maybe they exist. Okay, okay. So, using a conditional, if, if you uh, actually met aliens somehow in some situation or scenario, somehow you would meet aliens, what would you do? Would you try to talk to them? Would you run away? Would you call the police? Would you try to shake if, their hands? Hello. If I if I would uh, met an alien, yeah, I yeah. I would do anything, nothing. You would do nothing. Yeah, I would froze, freeze. Ah, I would freeze. I would freeze. Yeah. Okay. No, to be serious, Oakley, if you would uh, meet an alien, you now can say that you would do this, you would uh, shake hands, but uh, seriously speaking, you would do anything. Well, I don't know. I think I probably would. I've been in terrible car wrecks. I've been shot at with a gun before, and I didn't freeze. <laughs> I'm too stupid to freeze. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so okay. I don't think so. I would tell the aliens, okay, using a conditional, if the condition, and then we say the result, I would. If I met aliens, I would immediately approach them and tell them that I, in fact, I am the great and powerful Oakley, the leader of all the <laughs> all Earth humanity. people. That's right. I am the leader. <laughs> I am the guy you need to talk to. You found this me. is the problem, Oakley. <laughs> this is the problem. I, uh, I'm, I'm not. Uh, I cannot say something like that, as you. That's why <laughs> I would freeze. Yeah. Then they'd probably shoot me with a death ray immediately. You know. <laughs> you're the, you're the one. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> They would extract uh, your brain. On, yeah, on right. That <laughs> they, they'd extract my brain, right, mm. through my ear or something. Disgusting, yeah. <laughs> Good point. Okay, uh, how about you, Alberta, Alberto? Uh, if you actually met an alien, which you don't really believe in, but hypothetically, what would you do? Poof. Running and running. <laughs> running and I <I'd>, dread. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd run over and over. Yeah. And over and over. The army or 
or the police. Okay, you would head for the hills. Yeah. You would retreat immediately and call the authorities. Okay. Uh, all right. Interest, so I just want to sh quickly share. Um, Igor mentioned that he would freeze. Uh, Igor and the, the rest of the class and viewers. Sometimes when I'm teaching English, especially not so much online, but especially person-to-person -person live classes, sometimes with a, a lower level student, they will do that. They will completely freeze. They won't know what to do. And in English, we have an expression for that. It's called the deer in the headlights look. All right. Can you understand that? Deer in the headlights I'll look? I'll write it here. Yeah, they have the deer in the headlights look. In, in America, we have many deer. It's actually quite dangerous on the roads because when a deer, an animal, a deer with hoofs, wild in the forest, like Bambi, when they, when they walk out into the road, when at night and your headlights shine the light in their eyes, they just freeze, like, yeah. and they <laughs> stare right at the car. Even it's coming, running into them, they just stare, like, <sighs> they, they freeze, they freak out. They get the deer in the headlights look. But anyway, I just, it's an amusing idiom I thought I'd share. Okay. Uh, I don't well, you never know what you would do. You're saying yeah, hypothetical situation, but when uh, it, the fact many people do not do what they say. For example, many people say, "I would uh, if uh, someone would uh, come into the bank, yeah, with the gun. What mm -hmm. you would? I would take the gun. I would kill that man. I would uh, arrest him." But when uh, it's uh, reality and uh, this situation, they they do nothing. Maybe they run. So yeah. Uh, many right. people only talk, but when is the um, to show what about they talk, they may do not do what they said. So well, you, you yes. shouldn't be so. Uh, so I don't know. So <laughs> so uh, sure of myself. Yeah. So sure that you would uh, uh, I don't know go and speak well, with them and I don't know yeah. ask something. Or, well, I can be because it's a hypothetical situation, and I seriously doubt it. You'll you'll be able to catch me on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you see, I, I'm talking about yeah. this. Many people only think this. No, no, Who no. Would I, catch me. Uh, I can do anything. Right. I can say anything because it's only yeah, hypothetical. I can say, yeah, I can say anything. Uh, I do not pay for my uh, words. My words That's are right. for That's free. Right. <laughs> Now, if you caught me and you found out that I wet my pants, I urinated in my <laughs> pants, and and stood there shaking and crying, well, then I would have to eat crow. Actually, there's another, there's another idiom. If if I get in a situation such as you describe, if if then I'm found out that what I said was just baloney and complete nonsense. I have to eat crow, or I have to eat my words, all right? When a person brags ahead of time, they say, oh, I would kill the bank robber. But then when the situation actually happens and they don't do that, you have to eat, eat crow or eat your words, we say. Yeah. But you're right. I, w I would have to if I were caught. Yeah, I, Ida had an interesting point which I want to actually talk about a minute at least. Why is it when people see aliens in Chile, in Europe, in the United States, in Australia, why is it that they always look the same? They have gray skin, skinny, skinny bodies, skinny arms and legs, that big, bulbous head, a head that looks like a light bulb. We, we can say bulbous because it looks like a bulb, and those big, big eyes. Why do they look the same? Um, what do you think, uh, Alberto? Alberto, do you have any ideas about that? Yeah. Well, there are uh, many opinions about it. Uh, it is said that. Uh, um, from from 40s, uh, it, it is said that uh, 
it is green and has a big eyes and has a big head and uh, and then the person who who says that uh, they have been uh, they have seen uh, them uh, looks like uh, it looks like uh, like this okay and psychologically is uh, is the easier uh, is the easiest uh, thinking that uh, that uh, anity is like this okay anatomy their body form is that yeah. the word anatomy anatomy yeah the the form of the body yeah okay so prior pre suggested or pre conceived yeah, pre suggestion or preconceived notions ideas that we have ahead of time if I have a preconceived notion about something, uh, I'm going to go to China, and I think all Chinese people are like this, kind of like a stereotype. Hmm. So there are stereotypes about about ETs. It seems silly, but it, I I think you're probably right. Uh, anything to add to that, Igor? You think, you, you yes, think that's I right? think. I think uh, that uh, who saw, uh, who have seen uh, these aliens, who who are they people? They are normal people, they are adequate people, people, or they are <laughs> sick people. Sick maybe people? they, um, have, I mean, they have uh, problems uh, with uh, maybe head, some kind of problems, maybe they not adequate, yeah? You know, it's not adequate. Uh, occasionally, there's been quite a few UFO reports by uh, people in the military, Air Force captains, lieutenants, and those generally are not mentally unbalanced people. Yeah, but they have experience um, in the military, so they may have, have injured their head. <laughs> and, uh, you never know. You know that uh, exists a stereotype that yeah. who, who was in the military, they may, uh, may got, got injured in the military trainings or in some or in our activities here in my country is this stereotype who is who was in the military they may may have problems so oh, really okay uh, yeah but uh, if we speak uh, um, if we look on american tv for example we can see that um, many um, programs about that soldiers who uh, that comes from uh, uh, Iraq or uh, our oh, yeah. zones this they uh, they cannot um, integrate cannot integrate in society they uh, uh, get up in the morning with this uh, they have depression they have uh, uh, dreams about Iraq they may mm -hmm. uh, summon punch here yeah, to be aggressive okay. punch yeah punch uh Punch, yeah, punch, hit. Yeah, punch. My, yeah, yeah, hit, my, someone hit. Uh, so <coughs> they have some kind of problems. I do not say that all uh, this uh, person, but I may right. say that uh, maybe from this point of view, that uh, I may, I, what I want to say, uh, have someone, average person, seen uh, this aliens, average person? Well, I suppose, I mean, Sometimes, well, there, there's a lot of instances. Um, by the way, uh, people like suffering from that may have post-traumatic stress after a trauma. Post after trauma, traumatic stress, they tend to have problems. You know, lots of depression and problems dealing with society. Yeah. Not just military either. People that have been in a bad uh, airplane crash or were kidnapped or anything like that can really mess with and, people's heads. And it's it's very little um, little uh, deviation. You need le very little deviation to be a n uh, not normal. For example, you are normal, yeah, at the moment you're adequate. Me? And you need <laughs> That's debatable. Very, very little situ. Very little. Um, and you may be, I don't know, not what you was yesterday. So well, hopefully I'm not. Every time I eat something or breathe different air, my physiology changes, or anatomy, as Alberto says. So no, I'm not completely the same. I have mostly the same ideas and 
physical structure. But we're yeah, people change all the time. Yeah, people change all the time. So this uh, no. you do not think that if uh, some mil when look locally when you will show me on the camera, yeah, uh, but not on one camera, but many CCTV cameras, yeah, uh, what in the city are present. Some uh, uh, with uh, UFO, yeah, you will show uh, me. Ah, you you have on many yeah, cameras. Many, on many cameras, not on one, uh, but on ten cameras, for example, with UFO, yeah. I will say, yes, UFO exists. But when you show me, for example, many um, fake uh, videos of someone uh, uh, filmed right. a fake vid a video and they computerized that video, they changed, uh -huh. and they say that this is UFO, it's not true. Well, actually, there are a few such instances, as you describe. One of them was... Um, somewhere in New Mexico, Tucson, Tucson, New Mexico, and multiple, like 60 different people took videos of this. Every The whole city saw it. Now, it still ended up being debatable if it was not a military exercise. It was very strange because the times weren't right, and what was happening in the sky wasn't exactly as the military said. It was very weird. Um, I don't know, you can Google it, Tucson, aliens, multiple UFO sightings. What it was was two times. One time something that looked like a giant spaceship went right overhead and there are people with taking pictures like directly over their head and there's something blocking out the starlight in the sky that is big, whatever it is. Okay, I have a question for you. Yeah. Um, what is uh, your opinion? Uh, Americans uh, were on the moon or they weren't on the moon? Oh yeah, they were. I think, uh, I think the conspiracy theory, to my satisfaction, the conspiracy theory has been debunked. Um, I've, I've seen enough proof and plus people now have home telescopes which can actually pick out uh, the moon rover and items on the moon which are clearly man-made so I, it's hard my, for me to argue. My, my next question, when uh, was uh, this, uh, this uh, moon uh, trip? Was it 69? Was it 68? Yeah, 69. Yeah. So now it's 2013. So why uh, in this uh, amount of time they uh, they didn't go again, yeah? It's Good correct. question. They I'd didn't like, go again? Actually, I'd they... love to talk to, about that. I would love to talk about that some more. That's a really good question. Why? Why? If what they... Uh, 1969. Where? I yeah, don't know. They were. With, that, with those technologies, they can now uh, 10 uh, times in a year to go again. And every month. If they, yeah. in 1969, with the, those technologies, old technologies, they went to the moon. Yeah. They now can, went again. They, go they could go again. Why don't they? I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm not sure. I think because they weren't to the moon. They weren't? Well, you can yeah. see it on a telescope with your own eyes. I mean, you can see the moon with a telescope. You can see the moon rover. So... It's hard to dispute that. It's very difficult. I don't know. Uh, here, uh, if you on YouTube, you write uh, some uh, key uh, words, you will find information that they weren't. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. I, and I've seen the conspiracy theories, but I, I have, uh, to my satisfaction, um, everything that they, of the several, they make several points why they think are specific reasons or evidence, but they're all debunked. I, I was very interested in this, so I read quite a lot about it, but I, I think it's, I think they were really there, and I, I think it would be awfully hard. Neil Armstrong is still alive, you know? How could you keep, you know, he's Armstrong old. Armstrong is dead. He's dead. He, he's dead now? Okay. Yeah, he died uh, one year ago or a half oh, year Oh, really? Ago. How I did I miss that? Okay. Yeah, in the United States, in uh, once in. Uh, oh, really? Wow, I missed yeah. that. How about Buzz? Aldrin, Aldrin became a, a priest after he was uh, in the moon. Who? 
you know, Aldrin. Aldrin's Sick Buzz. Um, yeah, Buzz Aldrin. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Buzz. Became, uh, That's a cool name. I, I think, Buzz. Yeah. Um, he became a priest. Yeah, well, I, all right. Well, are you going to... It would be hard to keep it secret for so long. I, I mean, the, you're... You have a very good. You pose an excellent question. Why have they not gone back to the moon since '69? It is yeah, been and 40 the, with years. these technologies uh, yeah. now, it's very uh, uh, modern technologies. Conversely, how could they keep it secret for this long? They can't uh, it's keep uh, very anything easy. secret this long. That, Why uh, was filmed in Hollywood uh, as in uh, many f uh, films? I saw how could they keep it secret? You know, some somebody would have found out by now. There's just, it's, it's hard for me to believe. Yeah, but uh, uh, only w what proof we have that uh, Americans were on the moon? Only what? Only video, video and photo, photos, video and photos. What, yeah, well, what, actually, what and proof you have uh, ever? ever uh, because the telescopes can see items. Stuff I, on the moon. I should Google uh, this. I have uh, here here once a year, once a year in um, Russia. Yeah, uh, they talk about this uh, because here they. Uh, yeah, well, the, the Russians were darn close. I, if you, in my point of view, the Russians should be the least doubtful of anyone because they were this close to doing it themselves. Yeah. You know, that the whole space race thing, America won that by a hair. That was a pretty close thing. The but Russians would have been there now, two months later. Now, why they now, is, if you say that hey, two months later that would go, great. why they, I don't know. They would go now ten times to the moon. Would be yeah, they, they, they so, could. Something he is not... Um, is not uh, uh, kosher? Not, what? Something's not kosher. <laughs> <laughs> what is kosher? Could you write uh, this it, word? Sure, it's actually that's actually a Hebrew word, a Jewish word. Something's not kosher. Um, okay, in Hebrew religion, a rabbi has to bless the food, and it has to be properly prepared. And there's only certain foods you there's certain foods you cannot eat. So the expression "it's kosher" means it's okay, and it makes sense. If something's mm -hmm. not kosher, it means uh, not coincide. Cons it, it doesn't add up. For, for example, it's another idiom. Something doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense to us. And and yeah. I agree. There's there's something weird about it. But um, I think it, ha it um, that's how we got the Transformer movies. Yeah. <laughs> how you got? And Peter, another thing that I would like to add uh, is why. Why do most of the people think returning to the to the aliens? Why do most of the people think that if aliens come to to our planet, they are going to 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 do bad things or to harm people? Maybe they are coming to know us and they they are not looking for for bad things or for making damage to people. So we have the idea. Well, if aliens come, they are going to Destroy, destroy our planet, or they are going to kill uh, people on Earth, or that stupid things. Maybe they are coming just to be to, tourists, to interest, or to do research, or whatever. It's yeah, because they know the story. The story well, is like that because it sells better movies. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's been a few movies where aliens are friendly, like E.T. And Paul. Did you see the movie Paul, Ida? No. It really? Yeah, but no. no. Paul. Paul. Yeah, you should no. see that movie. It's pretty good. He's like the alien that you talked about, but he's just like a... He likes to play practical jokes. He likes to tell jokes. He's just a normal guy alien, whatever. <laughs> he's, he's not trying to kill anyone. But, but and, and I think that if we, if I met an alien, mm -hmm. uh, I will, I will try to um, communicate with, with it because um, how can we manage to communicate? Because they, they will have different language or different mm. way of communication. So it will be, Good I think point. it will be interesting to look away to, 
to communicate and to to understand each other. Okay. How can look, we do it? Look four away. To, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're right. That's that's going. That would be a an enormous challenge. And anyway, logically, you know, thinking about it, if aliens were wanted to kill us all and you know take over the earth or whatever they certainly wouldn't land in a field and say hi Ida or hello they wouldn't do yeah, that they just <laughs> you know surprise is a valuable tactic in warfare they would just boom hi we're here they wouldn't politely say hello I don't think that wouldn't be logical I mean just simple logic that would oh, make sense. You need yeah. to ask uh, yourself uh, for uh, for the beginning why would they want to come good on point. this earth? Why would they would uh, be interesting to see you here what I don't know. Yeah. Maybe they wouldn't. Actually that's in, that is that How is How do you know that they are so uh, curious? Actually that is in my notes to talk about. <laughs> But I'm glad you brought it up. Actually, I have that written down here. Or you think all, yeah. uh, all, the, all the world is uh, rounded around you? Do you know? Yeah. What this well, do all the world is uh, uh, around you. It's uh, right. Right. Well, do human beings think that the the universe revolves around them? Right. Yeah. For a single person, if a single person is very self-centered, we say, "Oh, does the whole world revolve around you?" Well, okay. Revolve? Revolve. Um, what is the revolve? Spin around and around. Revolve. Yeah. So the world revolves night, day, night, day. Yeah. And the world revolves around the sun. So it goes around and around the sun. So does the world revolve around you? Okay. Some people think that the uh, world revolves <laughs> around them. And uh, aliens want to, to yeah. come to them. And uh, I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah. They are right. superstar. You're you're absolutely right. The universe is insanely large, larger than we can really grasp in our brains. It's hard to conceive of. Um, and uh, why would aliens want to come to Earth? For what possible reason? I mean, are we really that fascinating? Actually, I think we're kind of dangerous animals. Myself. <laughs> But the question is the same question. Why do people on Earth are are trying to get to other planets or looking for life in other planets? Hmm, okay. You could turn it around. Turn the question around. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, that's true. Why are we? And yeah, Okay. Uh, let's talk about that. All right, since they're both sides of the same coin, really, why would aliens come find us? Why are we trying to find aliens? Why do we have SETI program, Search for Extraterrestrial Life? Um, so, sorry, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, S-E-T-I. In because um, uh, behind of this program is uh, an hour, hour, um, um our thoughts, uh, not uh, it's uh, not uh, the idea that they want to find a UFO. Yeah, they uh, maybe want to find new resources, maybe new technologies, something new. Uh, not technologies, but something that mm. would bring uh, technologies at uh, the new level or uh, medicine, or if they would find something uh, on our planet, I don't know, ground, some ground, uh, some microbes, I don't know. So th they would help to improve something on here on there. Yeah, and moreover, uh, they, uh, they scientists do this to do, to do research about uh, the about uh, our origins and the origins of our planet because. Uh, even though we know or we think that we know a lot of things about the Big Bang and how life begins and how uh, species have developed, have evolved uh, throughout the time, um, the reality is that a lot of things are uh, unknown. So if we, uh, if we know another planet, another life, uh, we can um, we can know more about 
all that all the history of our planet of the solar system mm -hmm. and all that. So okay. We are doing just to doing research. True. Uh, how our solar system formed, uh, how life formed, even how we got so much water on our planet. There's a lot of yeah. questions that have not been fully and completely answered. So basically these answers would uh, bring it to new quality of life. Maybe you will live longer, okay. okay. <laughs> Me? That's Personally? why. That's why. No, I mean uh, humanity in general. Oh, okay. But in uh, in uh, in, uh, in particular case, you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Only you are so you are so courageous. You when yeah. You Only if they abduct me. If they take me away, you know. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, the faster we go, the faster we approach the speed of light. Time actually slows down. Actual time slows down. We never see anything really like this. But yeah, I, I would ex actually extend my life a, a long ways. If I was abducted, if I told them I was the leader. So this is my ultimate goal, see. See, I'm way ahead of you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you think uh, okay. non-standards, you think? Yeah. Well, I, l let me talk to Alberto again. Alberto, do, yeah. you, do you think given, you know, the state of the earth right now and all the economic problems in Europe, United States, ah, oh, geez, just everywhere, given what's going on in the earth, do you think it is wise or ultimately profitable or uh, do you agree or disagree with spending a lot of money on space research? What do you think? Uh, we don't have uh, much money now, but uh, it's uh, very interesting for for our uh, knowledge uh, to to know how the the solar system has created and so on, as uh, as Ida said. Uh, then it's it's difficult to. Uh, to get uh, some money uh, from the education, from the uh, other matters, to to put it in the in the shaking of the EP life, for example. But uh, I think uh, there uh, there could be a, an amount of uh, of money for this. Because it's uh, our origin. Okay, our or, our origin. Yeah, too. Mm -hmm. It's our origin too, I think. Okay, so you're you're for it, but to a degree, to a responsible degree, not stealing money from education to pay for to pay for space exploration, for example. Uh, okay. All right, so a reasonable, moderate approach. Well, you don't hear mm -hmm. that very often anymore. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Igor, w what do you think? But I think uh, United States um, reduced uh, money for this um, searching of UFO. I, uh, mm. I think I um, uh, heard on TV two years ago about that they reduced drastically in uh, NASA, money for NASA, for these kind of things. Because well, of a uh, crisis, and uh, you can search on the internet. For yeah. sure, they reduced Americans. They did, and they also f discovered some new technologies that allowed them to do things a lot cheaper. So they were able to. They um, well, they just found new technologies, new composite materials to use, as well as, of course, you know, um, chip technology is always developing. Of course, so. Things that they, you know, when they're doing 10-year projections, what they think is going to happen in 10 years is ridiculous at the pace technology outstrips their forecasts. So uh, what, I, what I really mean by that is, yes, they cut NASA's budget, but really NASA figured out much cheaper ways to do things. Oh, you know, yeah. they can use one chip where they needed 100 five years ago. Things, very yeah. simple things. But the idea they uh, shoot some lunch, some I don't know, 
racket, some space, something good to launch in the. Um, well, yeah, because uh, to <coughs> excuse me, sorry. I, you know another aspect of this, not just the United States, Russia, China, everyone, um, and I don't know, maybe me too. I keep waiting for private corporations, private business, to get into the business of space exploration, like Virgin, you know, Virgin yeah. spacecraft, whatever. <laughs> Seriously. But uh, seriously, um, I think they um, wouldn't have. Um, they wouldn't uh, launch people too far from the from the Earth. Well, they're talking about a. They are talking, and I don't know. Maybe it's smoke and mirrors. I, I don't know. They are talking about a Mars program going to Mars. It's a, a combined Ooh, Virgin? program. Virgin. No, 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 not Virgin. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I, Mixing up our stories here, or I'm mixing up our stories. No, uh, actually, Russia and the United States, and I think a couple other countries are talking about a Mars mission. Uh, you know, this is a ways down the road, four years, six years, something like that. Yeah, they, they do. Uh, in fact, uh, two years ago, uh, they took an experiment in Russia called the Mars uh, 300 or 500, what? And they uh, they create a um, a real spaceship in Russia, and they uh, five or six six people, I don't know how ma how many, they go there and they simulate the conditions they will they will have in Mars to see if they um, if they can manage to to survive with those conditions and they to yeah. stay 500, 500 days or so uh, all together in a little space wow so would you would you like to do that Ida well I would like to it will be interesting to take that experience but you know, uh. It will be really challenging and really difficult. Yeah. Well, that they they took that experiment because that's the idea to get the to get uh, people to Mars in twenty yeah. thirty. Twenty thirty is that the what you read? I, I yeah, wasn't yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. So anyway, there are plans on the table by governments, not again, not by private businesses, but. You know, space exploration will really take off, in my opinion, when it becomes profitable. When people it's can, fun. when people can mine an asteroid and find pure gold, and you know, a hundred tons of it. Well, then, yeah, Virgin will be making spacecraft. <laughs> and but fast. I'm kind, <laughs> I'm kind of skeptical of uh, these private uh, companies that make. Um, uh, Private uh, spaceships. Okay. I think um, how they can uh, do something safe, yeah, 100% uh, safe. Mm. Uh, if, uh, for example, uh, United States, yeah, Uni mm -hmm. the United States, they couldn't do this thing. How the, uh, how they can do? For example, I can give you a real example. Uh, do you remember uh, some uh, three years ago or f five years? Uh, shuttle uh, went to the yeah. and uh, fell down and died uh, some people from the United States. Killed some people. No, no, they died. They uh, went to the to the space, yeah, and uh, uh -huh. they come uh, back home. And when they come, this shuttle uh, exploded yeah. in the air. Well, it's so, happened twice. Once on the way up and once on the way down. So how how happened twice. for example? If, United States couldn't uh, at 100 percent to assure people, their citizens, to be well, safe for them. How how can uh, some company as Virgin with Branson and company okay, well, how can, do similar? I don't how can think. how can Japan Air? How can uh, U.S. Airlines? Planes exactly. crash all the time. You know? That's only a business for these. For 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 yeah. building so on, it's uh, a business. 
there are uh, many rich person who uh, pay all the uh, money uh, you can think uh, for uh, going to the space and then there is a business yeah if they could really if they find oil on Mars <laughs> well, can you imagine oh my god can, can you imagine seriously if they found oil on Mars of course that's not gonna happen highly doubtful I can't say it's not gonna happen but highly doubtful given where oil actually comes from oil comes from coal and plant life that lived however many hundreds of millions of hundreds and hundreds of millions of years ago so unless there was life on Mars but you know who knows what they will find and who knows what resources are, are possible to find I mean who knows we may be you know the world keeps going the way it's going we may m be mining water from the asteroids who knows but uh, anyway uh, Alberto I don't think I got I don't think I asked you to, okay no I did ask you maybe I didn't ask Ida Ida do you think it's worth spending all the money um, for the space program do you think it's a good investment into the future mm, well considering for considering how the situation is all around the world the economic situation around the world yeah. hey, I think it's not it's not fair because mm, mm, I, I I don't see the point of having a lot of children or a lot of people around the world dying because of hunger and on the other hand we are investing in in things that are not profitable, that are not it's just for knowing more or for doing research. Or, mm -hmm. Okay, you do research in in medicine or in science and other in other issues and in other fields, okay, I will say it's okay because it will can right. help uh, it can help us but for me it's unbelievable or I can't understand how we can uh, invest a lot of money in these things when a lot of people is is die are dying of hunger and of poverty and of uh, stupid diseases I don't it's mm -hmm. I can it's beyond me teacher okay ah, oh nice nice expression nice expressive English it's beyond me very good well uh, okay well let's explore that idea a little bit more are there any practical uses coming out of the space program in the last 10 20 30 years uh, has humanity gained anything from this are you yes. guys aware of it well like yes what? I think uh, many um, technologies and medicines was uh, were tested uh, in the space on uh, this station that is near Earth, they tested many uh, m medicine and uh, many techn new technologies that you have now in your city, for example. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, actually, that's true. They did many testings with things like diamonds, with chips, silicon, with uh, perfect ball bearings, and creating perfect lenses in outer space. Yeah, they they have, and I'm not sure what they've done medically. I know they've done a lot of medical research, but I can't point to anything specific. I'm not sure. Um, what do you think, Alberto? Is there any direct benefit from space exploration, or or have we had any uh, yet? I think uh, there are benefits. Uh Direct benefits in, in health and in, in technologies. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, that uh, unless uh, you uh, don't have uh, the, the money in, in space, uh, uh, this money uh, can uh, can uh, use. Uh, well, in in school or in childhood or in in health in earth uh, 
uh, I think uh, NASA and and so on and, and these agencies uh, yeah, have to to earn the 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 money or have to spend the money in in, in okay. the space. Well, how about telecommunications industry, communication satellites? How about that? How about how about weather satellites and the ability for them to predict weather like the tornadoes that just happened in Oklahoma or in fact yeah. may still be happening at as we speak. God bless everyone in Oklahoma, and I hope you're all safe, by the way. Um, in any case, the ability to predict these kinds of uh, dramatic or extreme weather events, that's going to save lives. I mean, you have, to, yeah. you have to admit. And that is a direct, really a very, very direct result of space programs and exploration in space. You know, space exploration does not necessarily have to mean people walking on the moon or going to Mars. A lot of space exploration is done right here on Earth, such as Ida's explanation about the guys experimenting, trying to live for 500 days in a little, oh, uh, can you imagine that? <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. Before we go, we have five more minutes, so I've got one more hypothetical question for you. Actually, because this is a topic I'm really interested in, so I've seen quite a few uh, documentaries and I, I've read a lot on the internet. There are many people who believe at this point in time, right now, if we wanted to, actually going back to what Igor was saying in the beginning of class, if we wanted to, uh, in within three to five years, we would have to pool together. No one country could do this. But if countries wanted to pool together, they could make not only a spaceship that could go to Mars, they could make a spaceship that could go to the next solar system. We could go visit planets in another solar system. Now, of course, the distances are enormous. And it would take something like uh, in, in the area of 100 to 120 years to get there. So obviously, if you left on the spaceship, maybe your grandchildren might make it. Okay? You would have to live on the spaceship, and this would be a long journey. <laughs> no kidding. Um, let's hypothetical situation. Let's make a hypothetical situation what if you knew the Earth was going to end because of uh, whatever, giant meteorite or a solar flare or any one of the dozens and dozens of reasons that people think the world is going to end? But you had five years. Would you volunteer to go on the spaceship or would you rather go down with the ship, as it were? Uh, what do you think, Igor? Mm, I don't know. I wouldn't like to go to a spaceship. You'd be stuck there with everyone. <laughs> no, but uh, you say that uh, it's uh, very, very um, not, uh, uh, not uh, how we can say that it's not uh, uh, possible to happen, that uh, Earth will, something will meteorite or... Their Earth will. Well, I know. It's again. It's a hypothetical situation. It's very, very impossible. It's very, very. Well, it's not impossible. It does no, happen. Yeah, yeah. No. Imagine, for example, that we are. If we, if we have live, if we have live, uh, live, a uh, four thousand or five thousand, five thousand million years ago, uh, not ago. If not, how can I explain to talk about the future? Uh, from five now. Thousand. From now. Mm -hmm. When yeah. when the sun is when the sun will will finish because all the stars uh, in the in the solar system in the universe had a uh, had um, life. I mean they That's they true. born they die and then finally die and they explode as a supernova or as a, as a black uh, mirror or I don't know what's the name. Black so hole. Imagine that black hole exactly. 
So imagine that Sun is uh, about to to end he, its life. So if we don't have Sun, uh, the it's supposed that life in Earth will will disap will disappear. So imagine if you are living in 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 that moment. What will you do? It's not so impossible. No. Maybe it, it will be as far away. away. <laughs> And you should live uh, for uh, for uh, this five million or h how much uh, how many years you said for for the first and after that you will see what happened. Yeah. But five million. Uh, how many children? Uh, how many Actually, people should born and die before? Actually, it's probably going to be a few billions of more years. But we got a while yet. I think. I don't think anybody really knows. But anyway, the the point is, would would you go? Um, I don't know. Would no, Ida? Would you go? Yeah. I, I, if I, if I, if I were sure that uh, life in or on Earth we are going to to finish, I will go. Okay, with, Alberto. With Alberto, would no, you no. go? Would you get on the no, ship no. If, with me and Ida? If I want, if I want a, a ticket for a journey. Uh, I didn't give it uh, to Ida or... or like You're going to give your verbling ticket from here to the next solar system. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks a lot for the discussion. I'm afraid I'm out of time. Thanks. Always Bye, great to see you guys. Thank All right. You. Bye. All right.